to start now. Oh my goodness, so suddenly it's like, ah, okay. So we are here with Mackenzie from Trail Estate Winery in Prince Edward County. And we want to talk about this wine, Pet Knot. So tell us about Pet Knot. So Pet Knot is short for Petillant Natural. So don't shake it around too much like you're doing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Basically hey. it, means, uh, it means that at the end of fermentation, uh, I try and settle it a little bit, but not too much, because okay. you want to keep some yeast in your, uh, in your fermenting juice. Uh, and then I put it in bottle and it finishes the ferment in bottle. So there's nothing added, it's just grapes. And then uh, you sell it with all the lees, everything in it. So it's quite a, um, a live wine. So it's, a, it's, a, it's naturally bottle conditioned, live, sparkling. It's under a crown cap. No filtering. Nothing. So I'm going to ask a very specific specific question because I'm reading the label and it says eight days skin contact. So that's uh, not all pet, Petillant Naturals have skin contact. I just chose to use some skin contact in the wine. I do. Uh, I like using skins in a lot of the aromatic whites that I make. Um, so I just did a little bit. It gives it a little bit more phenolics, um, a little bit more like texture to the palate. And... So it's not just flavor, but it's structure and mouthfeel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, you can go ahead and open that then. <laughs> so, very important take home message is always make sure your pet gnats are cold and uh, they foam over. So, uh, I will. <laughs> What's the value of them being away. cold? Uh, it just stops the, the foaming from being so aggressive. It's just, okay, like a, so just like a beer, so. it keeps the carbonation. Yeah, uh, these are uh, normally we keep them in the fridge, um, but this has been. Um, this has been transported today and has been kept in a cooler. And of course, Glenn was just shaking I was it. Just, and I you was were just shaking it. <laughs> so Nobody warned me. She tried. I know. But uh, <laughs> this is what I do. I just let it foam over a bit. I usually just put it in a sink. And you can actually see there's you a... Can see the you can see the stuff floating leaves. around. Yeah. So it does the... Like once you pop the top, uh, it mixes up all those leaves as well. So it does get a little... Um, it's like a bit chewier. They're kind of like sour beers or ciders. Um, and uh, if you open it and you let it sit for a few hours in your fridge, then it will clarify as well. Okay. But then, yeah. Then it's not so lovely. It's a slow, it's a slow game. Sometimes that's the best way to win. Yeah, so you can actually <coughs> see the leaves coming down the side, which is kind of cool. And it has a very creamy color to it. Yeah, so that's your, that's your yeah. yeast, right? Um, and that's why they're like pretty funky on the nose, uh, just because you don't have any control over those yeast once they go in the bottle. Is this, it's naturally fermented then as well, right? So it's just- It is, it's... you can use a commercial yeast strain. So I just like to pour it quickly so I don't lose some as much. Cool. I'd say this is the- I can smell it, like just yeah. the, just, I guess because of yeah. the wind's going. And there we go. It's That's more of a casual out. wine. I... That's the I'm ever good at. So well, luckily we're outside. This, this, this so always is messy for me. Right off the top, anyone who likes sour yeah. beers would love this. Love this. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I can smell that. Uh, it's got that yeah. same sort of. And it's actually like, it's, it's definitely not clear, but it's not, uh, it's not chunky, which is good. That's very refreshing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how much of this do you make? Not a lot. Everything we do at Trail Estate is very small batch. Okay. Um, so this is about um, about 75 cases. So not very much. Yeah. So it's Only available at the winery? We sell a little bit in Quebec and then a, a handful of restaurants. But no, our distribution is mainly at the winery. Because okay. we make so many small batches, we, we have a really dynamic list and we change things all the time. That must be Fun. very exciting for you. Yeah, it's the best. <laughs> So As a winemaker, yeah. I'm allowed to experiment a lot. We make um, a lot of classic varieties as well, like Pinot Noir and Chardonnay and Cabernet Franc. Um, and I really love Riesling, but I, I do a lot, like I said, on the skins and um, orange wine, pet nut. So we can kind of make fun stuff every year and yeah. So you do make an orange wine as well? 
We do. How long does that stay on the skin? Uh, I just made, uh, so this is the first pet nut I've made and that's the first orange wine I've made. Uh, it was on the skins for 355 days. Wow. That's a long time. Uh, so that, and a lot of that went to Quebec as well. They're very into natural, natural wines right now. Do you have any of that here today? I don't, we've sold out. It's sold good for out. you. Yes. It's good for There's you. There's some available us, in Quebec. Good for you. What a great problem to have <laughs> that you can sell everything. That's I fantastic. I have a few bottles in my cellar. <laughs> So this, if we really needed it, this is worth coming to Picton for. Oh well, thank you. So, thank you for sharing. Yeah, mm -hmm. cheers. The story of your uh... cheers, cheers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it really is good. I like that.